governor has a very busy week ahead of him. He has yet to sign the most important of the key bills the legislature did manage to pass. Some Democrats actually want him to veto a $260 million tax cut bill because they didn't know about a provision in the bill that cuts cigarette and other tobacco taxes by $32 million. And the Republicans want the governor to hold a special session after the legislature failed to reach an agreement on transportation and a $1 billion bill that would have funded public projects across the state. Under Minnesota law, only the governor has the power to call a special session. And Governor Mark Dayton joins us right now live. Governor Dayton, thank you so much for coming in. Glad to be with you, Esme. All right, let's start. Are you going to call a special session? Well, I, you know, I'm very open to it. And, and you know, DFLers as well as Republicans are very interested in a special session for the bond bill which should have passed with a, close to a billion dollars in projects all over the state of Minnesota and if we can agree on, a, on the parameters of a special session and if I can be sure I'm going to get my priorities so some of which were excluded from that bill included then uh, I'll go ahead and, and call a special session. All right and every time you have called a special session you've always insisted that there be an agreement beforehand. You folks couldn't agree in 11 weeks. How can you possibly reach an agreement for a special session? Well, I get signatures on a piece of paper, but you're right. I, only I can call them into session, but only they can end the session. So once they're there, they can take up whatever they want, and we don't need a repeat of the last uh, days or hours of the legislative session. They need to come in, get a bonding bill passed. It would be great if they could do a comprehensive transportation funding bill, but they haven't been able to do that for two years. So I don't think that's very likely, but get it done, get out. Okay, what are your absolute must-haves for well, any I, kind I, of bonding bill? I think the higher education was really shortchanged. The University of Minnesota, the Minnesota State College University campuses, both in terms of bonding for buildings and also uh, operating funds. All right, well, this whole bonding bill blew up at the last minute, just minutes before the midnight deadline, with the Southwest LRT funding proposal that was in there. Are you going to insist on funding or some kind of funding mechanism for Southwest LRT? Yes, for Metro Transit. I mean, the Republicans are, you know, by using the Southwest line, we're just dead set against any uh, additional funding for Metro Transit. We're going to have 750,000 more people living in the metropolitan area over the next 25 years. And if they're all forced onto the highways, we're going to have worse congestion than we do now. So I wanted to be a, a broader gauge of metropolitan transit uh, funding. So you're saying that Southwest LRT will have to be part of an agreement before you uh, announce a special session? Some way to give the Metropolitan Council who it has the legitimate authority, the ability to put in the local share necessary to okay. complete the funding package, bring down uh, hundreds of millions of dollars of federal money and get that project, that alternative to the highways going forward. Okay, so that, that is one of your sticking yes. points. And the mechanisms that were discussed, including, uh, you know, tab, license tab increases, uh, possible sales tax uh, approved by different counties, are those some of the mechanisms that you would consider? There's, there's some of them, yes. The, the tab fee increase was for the general highway, roads, highways, and bridges. That failed uh, for the second year in a row because uh, Republicans are unwilling to raise any revenues. They just want to put general fund money. Well, we don't have enough general fund money to fund all the transportation projects we need. All right. Let's talk about one of the bills that actually did pass, and that's the tax cut bill. $260 million, uh, provisions including breaks for, for young people, uh, students who have high debt loads. Something was in that bill that you didn't realize and other Democrats didn't realize, this $32 million of cigarette taxes. What are you going to do? Well, I can't line on veto a tax bill, so it's all or nothing. Either sign it or I veto the entirety. And, uh, you know, it's a good bill, as you said. It's got some very good features, middle-income tax credits. I propose uh, raising the child care tax credit that was done, uh, 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 working family credit, the uh, tax credit. A lot of really good features, student loan uh, forgiveness, uh, so it's really good features. You know, the, the, I don't know who put that in, uh, the, the tax cut for big tobacco companies. Uh, it shouldn't be in there, but I, I really probably not going to veto the bill for that reason. All right. Um, let's talk about some of the other transportation issues. Uh, the Republicans held a news conference earlier this week out on Highway 12. It's, it's a devastating stretch of highway. Twenty-three people have died in recent years on that. Uh, where does that come in? Is that transportation? Is that bonding? Are, are projects like that going to get funded if there is a special session? Well, it's in the bonding bill. It's in the bonding bill that failed in the, in the state senate by, by one vote and the state senator who represents that Highway 12 area voted against the bonding bill. So for them to go out there then and, and you know complain about the fact that the bill uh, didn't pass to me was really hypocritical. But yes, it is in the, the bonding bill that both uh, are, are considering and, and it'll be in the final bonding bill. Another thing that was passed 
body cameras for law enforcement officers. Uh, you got a key measure taken out that would have allowed officers to review the tape before writing their reports. Are you going to sign that? Well, I'm still torn. Uh, there's still some, some problems with the bill, but I, I gave my word that when that uh, piece was taken out that I would sign the bill if it were removed, and they did remove it. So, so I'm probably going to reluctantly sign it. All right. Real ID. <laughs> Obviously, that was something else that didn't get done, and I think a lot of Minnesotans are worried should they be going out and you know getting passports. A lot of people don't have passports. It's expensive and it's not easy to get. Uh, is that going to be part of any special session? Uh, I don't think so because again, the, the two sides couldn't agree. But uh, people should understand that the. the uh, Transportation Safety Administration is not going to enforce the driver's license requirement in 2017, not until the 2018. So they won't be affected getting on an airplane. If they want to enter a defense establishment, whatever, they would need either an enhanced driver's license, which are available now, or a passport. Okay. And I think most people who professionally uh, have to go through those kind of procedures understand the, 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 that situation. All right. Let's, let's talk about the process uh, that, that happened and, and unfolded over the last 11 weeks, because it was pretty ugly, especially at the end. Isn't there a better way? Shouldn't Minnesota leaders be able to, to come up with a better way of doing things? Well, I'm a partisan, but you know, we, we, we ended two sessions on time with a great deal of progress in 2013 and 14 with DFL majorities in both the House and Senate, and obviously I'm a Democrat. Uh, this time, we, the people of Minnesota sent us divided legislature, Republicans in charge of the House and Democrats in charge of the Senate, and uh, you know, they have very significant ideological differences and convictions, all sincerely held. But I, I don't think that that kind of uh, conflict produced the gridlock that people uh, don't like then at the conclusion. All right, let me just ask you, I, I heard you're going on an 82-county road trip to every county in the state of Minnesota. Every county in, in the state in, of Minnesota. Uh, in August to talk about your, your water priorities. Are you going to be campaigning for Democratic legislators? Is that what this is about? Uh, are you going to be trying to do that? Well, I'll be watched like a hawk by everybody to make sure that what I'm doing uh, on state business, which is advancing the causes that I believe in, pre expansion further of free kindergarten and higher education funding and water quality. Uh, and then in the early morning or late evening, I'll, I'll do uh, fundraisers for DFL candidates, so for sure. But uh, I'll be very careful to separate and account for them separately. All right. And so I don't have people like you all over my case. All right. And let me just ask you, deadline for special, calling a special session, when is it? Well, no no deadline, but I think we'll, we'll get to get down to it this week, we'll meet with okay. the four caucus leaders, and we'll either agree or disagree this next week to, to do it or not. All right. Well, Governor Dayton, always a pleasure. Thank you Thank so you. much for taking the time to stop by. Thanks. All right.